Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how we can set up scene transitions inside of OBS so that you can quickly switch between your scenes without needing to look at the OBS interface by using hotkeys like this. So there's really two main modes that we can go about doing this. First off is to not use studio mode, which I think is the simpler option, and then the second option is to use studio mode. So in order to do your scene transitions, the first thing you're obviously going to need is two different scenes set up. So we are going to make this logo scene be able to transition to this same webcam in this tutorial. Obviously the webcam's not showing because I'm taking that over in my other OBS instance. So if we have our two scenes set up with whatever we want, we need to go up to the file menu and then go down to settings. So in the settings, we can find hotkeys here. And once we're here, we're gonna need to scroll down and find the name of the scenes that we created that we wanna be able to switch to. So let's go ahead and find this scene webcam here. So where it says switch to scene, put in a hotkey, one that you're probably not likely to need in another program or to accidentally press. So a good option for that, I think would be control alt and then a number. So control one is what I was using earlier. And then we can also go ahead, find our other scene. So in that case, the name of the scene we wanna to switch to is logo scene. So switch to scene, click on it, control alt two, hit apply. Okay, so now we can hit okay here. And we can switch between the two scenes by hitting control alt two and then control alt one to switch back to our original scene. Now, obviously, if you have more than two scenes that you want to play around with, you can add in extra hotkeys for more scenes. So just go down the list and do a control alt three, control alt four, so on and so forth. Really, you can use any hotkeys you want though. That's just what I like. Okay, so you might also be wondering about the transition. So right now it's set to just an instant cutaway from one scene to the other. But there's this box here, scene transitions, where if you click on it, you can also change it to other transitions. So here we have fade. So once you choose fade from the drop down and you hit control two, control one to switch between the scenes, you'll notice now that it's a 300 millisecond duration fade. And uh, you can customize that here. So if you want a really long fade, you can change that to something like a thousand milliseconds. So control two and control one, and you can see that's much, much, much slower. So let's put it back to 300. Also, if you click on the drop down, you'll see I already created a custom slide test so if I click on that and then we do control alt two, control alt one, you'll see we have a slide transition. So that's pretty cool. And you can also add in additional custom transitions here, which can also be used inside of studio mode later on. So let's go ahead, click on the drop down and add in a new transition. So we'll do a Luma wipe here and I'll hit okay. And then when we want to preview it, just hit preview transition. And what you'll notice about this transition is that there is a softness line so it kind of blurs together the two different scenes. And we can increase that softness by changing the softness value. So I'll make it something like 0.15. And now when we take a look at it, you should see that the blurriness is much more visible. There's also a huge drop down here for the different types of Luma wipe transitions you can do, or really the different patterns rather. So let's try something like squares and hit preview transition. So you can see that the shape now is very, very different from what it was before. So just play around with the softness and the image until you get the transition you want, and then you can hit OK. So now that's gonna appear in this drop down menu, and you can use that to transition between your scenes. So now I can do Control 2 to do the Luma wipe to my logo scene, and Control 1 to scene webcam. So that's pretty handy. Now let's go ahead and talk about studio mode. So in studio mode, you're gonna see a preview on the left, generally a different scene, and on the right, you're going to see what your viewers would see if you were streaming or recording. So this is basically what scene is queued up and this is what's currently showing. So we can utilize the hotkeys we set up to queue up a scene in the preview window, but it's not gonna immediately switch to it. So if I hit control two, it puts that scene into the preview window rather than instantly transitioning. And that's kind of the main difference here is that the transitions don't happen immediately. You have to queue up the scene and then transition. So if I hit control alt one, the scene webcam becomes the preview. And you can see once again that they can be the same thing. So if you transition between the same thing, nothing's going to happen. So make sure that your preview is actually what you want it to be. Um, there's also these quick transitions over here. So you always have access to cut, fade, and fade to black, regardless of what your main default transition is set to down here. So a good idea if you're gonna be recording to allow yourself to have multiple transitions is to have cut key bound, fade key bound, and then to have your fancy custom transition set up down here. You can also set up a hotkey for fade to black if you want. 
So if you want to set up these hotkeys so that you can use them easily without looking at the OBS interface, we go back up to settings once again. So under hotkeys, we can scroll down a little bit here, uh, kind of to the bottom of the first main section. And you're going to be looking for your default transition in studio mode. So I'm going to hit control zero there. And next we can set up the hotkeys for the quick transitions cut and fade. So scrolling up to find that, I'm going to make cut. Uh, control alt 8 and I'll make fade control alt 9 once again the exact key bindings are completely up to you so now go ahead and hit apply and ok and now we can use those key bindings to do quick switching between our scenes even if our scene transition is set to something different so control alt 9 is now always going to be fade control alt 8 is always going to be an instant cut and then control alt 0 is our default transition or whatever we have set up there in the scenes transition window now, unfortunately, I haven't seen a way to set up a hotkey where you can change the scene transition to something else on the list instantly. So if I want to change this scene transition, I'm going to manually click on the drop down and then change it back to slide test or whatever I want for the actual streaming. And now whenever we were to go live or to start recording, I have access to those hotkeys when I want to use one of those three transitions. So that's pretty handy. And once again, don't forget, you can use your hotkeys for changing between the scenes, even in studio mode. So those in combination will save you a lot of time of actually having to look at the OBS screen and mess around with the interface if you're recording a video. Just remember that uh, whether or not you are in studio mode, once you have changed the transition here under scene transitions, that that is going to affect whatever your default transition is for when you do the control one, control two to switch between your scenes. So, so even though we're not in studio mode anymore, because I changed the scene transition here, that's going to make my transition slide instead of cut. So if you want to go back to cut, make sure that you click on the drop down, change that back to cut, and then you can do your simple transitions. And now switching between the scenes directly is going to go back to that default cut transition functionality. So in a nutshell, that is how you can set up scene transitions inside of OBS using hotkeys to make your life a little easier while you're streaming or recording videos being able to transition between your scenes without needing to look at the OBS interface and doing it with the studio mode and not using studio mode. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.